Okay, no matter what type of uh, business model that you're going to, to get involved with uh, to get to your daily freedom number, usually online, for the most part, they all boil down to one of these internet marketing business models that you see on the screen. They are e-commerce, e-commerce sites, and we'll, I'm going to show you what each one of these are, uh, lead-based websites, affiliate marketing, information marketing, or a service provider. Okay. Now, each one of these has several categories and groups that fall uh, within it, uh, with the exception of the adult industry, which is a, a beast of its own, and uh, that's not what this course is about. Although there are plenty of people that earn a good living with that, um, and these tactics do apply to that if you had some reason that you wanted to go that route, but it is very, very difficult and it's very, very competitive, just to let you know. Uh, so I've heard. So <laughs> let's look at e-commerce. Uh, websites first. Now technically, as what uh, Wikipedia uh, describes, e-commerce is typically uh, all commerce that can takes place on the internet. But amongst internet marketers, it it means uh, well, it depends. It means different things to different people. To most of us, it means like uh, stores that are like online versions of retail stores. Okay, and sticking with our golf example from earlier, if you were to get into the golf niche and you were to uh, want to go the e-commerce route, you would set up a store that looks something like this. This is Golf Galaxy, and it's a store where people come online and purchase actual golf clubs that get shipped to them, okay? With this business model, you have uh, a different dynamic online. You're responsible for customer satisfaction, okay? You're responsible for sourcing products. You need to find products, a golf club supplier, and uh, we'll show you how to do that if that's the route that you choose to go and you'll buy wholesale and even better so that you don't have to stock merchandise you would probably buy through a drop shipper so that when you if a customer comes to this site and they want this new uh, RA, uh, Razor X launch uh, iron and they click purchase you instantly can go to your supplier put that order in put your customers address in, pay for the item and have the item say you paid uh, I don't know what this cost but let's say you paid two hundred dollars to have this shipped to your customer, and your customer paid you $350, okay, you keep the $150, and you, you, you submit the order, and the supplier ships the golf club to your customer. Done. You didn't have to ship anything, you didn't have to stock the inventory, and your site made the sale, okay? So, and you made $150 profit from selling that one club. If your daily freedom number happened to be $150 a day, well, you would need one club sale a day out of this entire site, all right? So as you go through these models, you'll see that your daily freedom number is not that far away, okay? And you'll probably uh, destroy, you know, you'll, you'll go a lot further than what you actually set out to do. You know, you'll, you'll exceed your expectations. But that's good because then that's just going to show you what's really possible. So this is an e-commerce type of store. And uh, this could be for baby bags. This could be for strollers. You could do one for any, just about anything that you're you're, you're uh, passionate about. And we'll get into finding your passion and things like that in the next model, uh, uh, module. But for now, uh, this is I want you to get a, a solid understanding of what a what a well put together e-commerce store looks like. And then you would have things like sales, free shipping, uh, bundle packages, and things like that. Okay, next uh, would be the lead based websites. And these are sites online that uh, sell leads. What is all businesses need leads to survive? Okay, and they need these are pros, prospective pros, uh, prospective customers. Okay, who are who may be interested in their services, and uh, you know they may be looking and and this is uh, what they would use and they would market to these leads and eventually turn them into customers. Okay, leads anybody who hasn't become a customer yet, but they're they're interested possibly and and they need they have a need for the service. So here's an example of a lead site, uh, CheapCarInsurance.net. This site is built around getting car insurance leads for people. Now, how do they make money with this business model? Well, they build this site, and this site is is built around. It's, it's, it ranks in the search engines. If you put, you know, cheap car insurance, they're right there. Uh, they're ranked in Google, which means that when you go to Google, you'll find them on the first page, pretty high up, so that you can find them without having to scroll back into other pages. And when you put your, your zip code in, let's just say we put 90210, get a quote, 
this site is built around getting you to fill out some information about your vehicle and um, whether you lease it and things like that and when you go through and submit this information this site sells your lead okay they don't do anything with it they're not the car insurance company they sell that lead to a company who can use that information to contact you all right and they can sell you car insurance that you need. You're online right now looking for car insurance. That you're, you're raising your hand saying, hey, I'm looking for cheap car insurance, and I need, I want to find the best deal. Okay? So this company is going to provide that service to you. They're going to provide that to you by going and getting, gathering your information and pointing you in the right direction. Now, to that car insurance company, you're worth $1,000 in, uh, in, in yearly you know, premiums that you're going to pay. So they happily will give this company, this, this, this business owner of this car insurance.net, sixty dollars seventy dollars eighty dollars a lead so this company here doesn't have to do anything but gather your information submit the lead to the car insurance company and that usually happens automatically and they collect ninety dollars for their time for for that for that uh, service they collect ninety dollars from not from you you didn't buy anything for them to get paid uh, and this is important they didn't have to pay a thing to get to get paid they just uh, you know you, they didn't have to accept the payment from you. They didn't have to collect the payment. You didn't have to buy a thing for them to get paid and they made ninety dollars off of your requesting more information. How many of those would you need to hit your daily freedom number? Okay, This is a very 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 profitable business model and it's happening a lot more now. It is competitive okay especially in things like car insurance and mortgages forget about it. I mean but there, there's, there's, there's angles and we'll get into angel angles. Remember, I'm just trying to show you the core model. Just because you you may not want to go after you know cheapcarinsurance.com, but that doesn't say if you live in El Paso, Texas, you can't go after a cheap El Paso car insurance. And that doesn't mean that you can't get three, four, five leads a day, all paying you sixty, seventy dollars a day. Okay, this is a business that can be set up very, very quickly to achieve your freedom number. And that's how lead businesses work. Now, affiliate marketing is the core business model that, you know, the lead business, it's kind of affiliate marketing, but it's more so you're, you're providing a service of, of leads to other businesses. Affiliate marketing is, is uh, a beast uh, uh, you know, amongst itself. And it's the core of what most of the, what you see what's going on uh, online nowadays. Wikipedia defines affiliate marketing as a practice in which business rewards one or more affiliates for each visitor or customer uh, brought about by the affiliates own marketing efforts so for example as you can see here in the diagram uh, you have an affiliate he has a page here and let's say we were sticking with a golf example instead let's say this guy doesn't want to uh, find a golf supplier this affiliate he doesn't want to go through and find all of the uh, you know and do all the e-commerce setup like we showed you in the first model he just wants to be an affiliate so he sets up a page right here that's about golf reviews. And he his name's Jeff. And he goes through and reviews the best drivers on the market. And he does some research and he finds what drivers do what and which ones are, are the best, which ones are the worst, which ones are uh, are the best bang for the buck and which ones are, you know, a waste complete waste of money. And on this page he puts links, okay, that these different golf companies have provided him with. Each of these links is coded. It's coded with a little a piece of code that says any sale that comes from a customer who clicked on these links goes to Jeff. And for his service, Jeff will get paid 10%, 20%. So Jeff, the affiliate, didn't have to have any inventory. He didn't have to house any, any anything. He didn't even have to take care of the customer. He didn't have to have any overhead. He didn't have to do any customer support. Any, any, he doesn't have to set up a payment processor to accept payments, nothing. All Jeff did was set up a review page that reviewed the, the, the golf products, put a link in here, and pointed them to the seller. Then the seller goes ahead and processes the order, handles the customer service, emails the customer, ships the product, and guess what? He sends Jeff 20%, 10%. And Jeff just does that over and over and over again for different products. Earning 10% here, you know, 10% off, of off of a $200 item is $20. You know, but Jeff didn't have to do much to get that twenty dollars. So how many times does he have to do that a day to hit the freedom number? All right. This model here goes. I mean, you it goes far and it goes wide and it is deep. It goes well beyond just golf. 
clubs. You have companies like Netflix that will pay everybody to move Netflix. If not, you can rent DVDs by mail. Check them out. It'll probably blow your mind. But if you heard of them, like most of, most people have, uh, you know that you know they offer a great service. You can offer people Netflix trials. So anybody who clicks a link and goes through and, buy, and signs up from Netflix through you, you'll get a commission. Now, I'm not sure what they're offering now, but it, it used to be a, a, a pretty respectable amount for the, the small amount of work that has to be done. There's also products, information products out there, uh, you know, sticking with the golf theme, like this one. You've probably seen them. That, that, that you know, Some of them are crap, admittedly, and some of them have solid content. And the, the, the fact of the matter is that people are willing to pay for information, more so than they are your average book in the bookstore. You don't think it's, it's, it's funny that go to a bookstore, right, and you see the, these books on the shelves, and they're priced at, you know, $15.95, uh, $26.95, I mean, some of the high ones, you could consider it higher, $35, okay? They're priced at $35, and these are authors that have gone through the traditional routes, and they've done the research, and, the, and they had uh, research teams, and the publishing companies have gone through, and they've been edited, and they've been, been you know, put up money, millions of dollars uh, sometimes for, for t particular books uh, by Random House and things like that, uh, different publishers. And these books are selling for $15. But then you come online and you see products that are catering to a specific need that people have, a specific want, like this golf swing product. And these products can be priced at $67, $77, $87, $97. Sometimes $197, depending on the niche. You know, some of these investing niches have products $497. Whereas if it was a book with the same exact information in the bookstore, and be priced at thirty-seven dollars. So there's a perception online. Now why I'm telling you this because people are willing to pay this money online for information that gives them a desired result. And if you didn't know that, well, I hope it's a, it's a wake-up call that they are. And as an affiliate, you remember, as an affiliate right here, instead of putting up a review site on golf, you could put a review site on one particular product. One particular product that gets a desired result. So maybe you found uh, this product here. That shows you how you can get uh, add 42 yards to your golf swing, all right. And this is a desirable product that maybe some a lot of people would want. Every time somebody purchases this product for $127, you would get 50% at least. That's the difference between informational products and real world products. With these products here. By the way, you can you can become an affiliate for most e-commerce stores. You can just scroll down to the bottom of a store that's already up, and you see right here affiliates. So you can you can promote their products as well, and they'll pay you. It looks like ten percent. But when you come away from that, the real world products, and you go to these products here, digital products, because that they don't cost the owner anything to make. There's no publishing cost. There's no printing cost. There's no paper. Uh, there's no actual physical cost. They can afford to give away more profits. And people will want them just as much, if not more, than physical products. Okay? So if you have a product, I'm going to show you marketplaces that you can go to to find these products. There's, there's thousands that you can choose from to market. These people, these, 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 these product owners will actually pay you 75%. 75% they'll pay you, uh, you know, and you don't handle anything. No customer service. None of the uh, hassles of owning the customer will pay you 75% just for being an affiliate. So 75% of a $147 product is $110. $110 you're making off of one. So that's, you know, one of those a day and what? How far are you away from your freedom number now? You know, forget about two, three, four, five a day. You, you, you might pass out with that type of income. It, it, it'd be so off of your uh, uh, what you thought was possible, and this is what people are doing on large scales, day in and day out online. That's the affiliate model. Okay, information marketing uh, goes hand in hand. This is owning your own product, your own information product. This doesn't have to be an ebook, but let's just say instead of being an affiliate, you want to own the customer. Okay, you want that customer as your asset because ultimately this is where you want to be. Because now instead of just getting paid one time. For selling this course, you know, 
you can get paid from this customer over and over and over again through the, throughout its lifetime. This one time that a customer buys this product from uh, from this owner, you know, as an affiliate, you would get a it would be a one one time hit. So you would get, let's say, I don't know, you got a ninety dollar commission if it was one hundred twenty, one hundred forty seven dollar product or something like that. All right, okay, that's pretty good. But now they're they're on their, that customer belongs to the owner. You did the hardest work. The hardest thing was to get the customer out of the marketplace of leads and and and, and find them. Now, over the course of the lifetime, that customer may be worth three thousand dollars. They heal in additional products they will buy, and would the affiliate have to pay you a hundred dollars commission? As a product owner, as an informational marketer, you own the product. And you may be saying, well, I'm not an expert in anything. How can I make a product? You don't have to be. You can have other people write the product for you. So if you thought that, you know, you always wondered where, how there were so many experts out there, you know, how can these people be experts in all things? Well, you don't have to be the expert. You could pay the expert. You could have the expert write it for you. And we'll get into the details of that. And now you have a product. So now you have a product. You have other people be your affiliates. You become this person here. You have other people sending you customers into your funnel, okay? And now you're going to reap the rewards of being able to sell to those customers over and over and over again for years to come, all the while building a valuable asset, all right? So that's the advantage of being an information marketer. And this could be uh, software. You can, you can have somebody create a program that does something easier for you. You can have a uh, uh Ebooks created. You could you could be a, a video create. You know you can have someone record videos. You could record videos. You could be audio CDs. It could be anything that is informational related. And finally, the the, the final uh, model is a service provider. There are plenty of service providers online that are getting wealthy by providing services to people. They're providing shovels basically to people who are looking for gold. These are the people who are. Going through, and there's small business consultants like the ones you see here on the screen. Uh, these are people who are programmers. There's a whole, a whole other world, a whole niche right now that's on fire of people who are service providers who do nothing but create iPhone applications. Okay, so if you have a specialty and where you thought before, well, how am I? You know, you you went to school, or you have some type of specialty, and you wanna you wanna uh, leverage that specialty, that specialized knowledge. A, you could be an information marketer by telling people, you know, relaying your information to them that way. B, you could be a service provider and actually using your specialty. Are you a are, are you know are you a writer? Do you have an English major? You know, you could write art. You could write articles and get paid ten, twenty dollars an article. You know, for your time. How many articles do you have to write a day to hit your freedom number then? You know, so you can you can do it that way, or you can learn to develop talent underneath of you and have people write for you, and then we'll show you how to outsource and do those things, in, in in this program as well. So now you have ten people doing what your specialty is, and you don't even have to, to do that. So those are the core mo uh, business models that that make up most of the successful, almost all of the successful businesses that you'll find online. And I just wanted you to get a feel for what each of those consisted of so that you can start to see how small, you know, what was the number we had earlier with our example? I think it was $187 a day. You know, before you may have been thinking, well, how the hell are we going? Now, that number should be, should be becoming increasingly smaller to you that you're seeing what the possibilities are. No matter what type of business that you're looking to set up online, okay, no matter what type of online venture that you're looking to start, Every successful business in the world needs to have a funnel with these three fundamental layers in place. This is the FSB online business funnel. Number one, you need to have traffic. The ability to, to attract new leads and bring them in to your to make them bring them into your sphere of influence, into your business. Okay? So you have to have traffic. Whether you're a mall store or whether you're an online retail shop, you have to have people that can actually walk past your business. Okay, so to speak. Number two, you need to have the ability to uh, to generate leads, the ability to take that traffic and get people to raise their hand and say, "Hey, I'm interested in what you have to offer. This is exactly what I was looking for." All right, and you need to be able to capture those people. All right, capture and convert them. Convert them from somebody who's just saying, "Hey, I'm kind of interested in what you have to offer. Give me more info." To, oh, here's my credit card. All right, you got that, That's called a conversion. You got to take them from just a casual browser 
into someone who's purchasing something. And then when they purchase something from you, they're a subscriber, they're a customer. You need to have the ability, number three, to turn the strangers into people who are familiar with you. You know, make them, make them, make them, uh, familiar with it and then turn them into customers. A customer is, is, is your goal. This is digital gold. And it, your job doesn't stop there even after they become a customer because you want them to be a, a fan of yours, not just a regular customer. A fan is a customer that not only buys from you once, but they buy from you over and over and over again. You retain them. All right. They're so thrilled with your process here. The process was so seamless for them just wandering about on the internet to actually raising their hand, saying they're interested. That's exactly what they've been looking for. To them being thrilled with your product, that this whole process, it was so seamless that they become a, a raving fan and they want to buy er almost everything you put out. The hardest part in, in business is getting a customer to go from just a general, you know, just being traffic to raise their hand to make you pull out the credit card and purchase. Once they're in your funnel and they've already purchased, you have gold because they'll, they've done the hardest part. So now you know you separated the wheat from the shaft and you know who's going to buy. And they'll buy from you again and again and again. So now you're not relying on finding new customers every day. You're just relying on providing services to your existing customer, your existing customer base. Now, as simple as this looks, you need to understand that each layer has multiple components, okay, and different strategies, different tactics that you're going to master doing this faster, smarter, better program. But this is your your framework. This is what you, you will be able to accomplish. You know, traffic by itself right here is is a, is composed of several systems, and these systems are, have systems built within them. You know, and we I guess you can call them subsystems. So so for example, uh, Microsoft, you know, uh, search engine is one system. Google search engine is another system. Facebook is another system. They're all totally separate. And if you focus on all the systems, you could go crazy, all right? Because there's a hundred systems up here for how to get traffic. Then there's another hundred systems, let's say thousands of systems out there for turning that traffic into actual leads. Then you have systems out, systems out there that talk about turning leads into buyers and how to manage buyers and how to get more profit out of your buyers, okay? So each of these layers, well, you'll, you'll build your own processes for. and when you strip off all the crap and you look at your business this way as an upside down funnel, the ice cream cone, as they call it, it becomes a lot more simple and it becomes a lot less overwhelming. All right, you can focus on the core value of what you need to do to build your business. Get more traffic, turn the traffic into leads, get more customers. All right, now we go deep behind the curtains to this throughout the entire Faster, Smarter, Better uh, course. But to sum this up, the core essence of the Faster, Smarter, Better marketing funnel is as follows. Traffic is the lifeblood of the business. Okay? Traffic is, without the traffic, you have nothing because you don't have anyone, any prospects. Conversions is the system in place that's going to turn the leads into subscribers and the subscribers into sales. So this is like your filter here. The conversion uh, element to your funnel is going to take traffic and turn it into sales. Okay, and relationships number three is a system for building a relationship with the customers that you do get and subscribers, so that they become fans for life and purchase from you over and over again. That's all there is to it. Those core, those three core uh, elements pretty much apply to all of online commerce, whether you have a a, a retail store, an affiliate marketer. Surprisingly enough, affiliate marketers can build relationships too. And we'll show you how to do that. Whether you're a lead marketer, same thing. You can still build relationships even though you're passing the lead on. There's ways to capture the information, okay, so that you can provide more value to the leads. And, uh, it does, you know, so there, there's millionaires in all, all of the models. So you don't have to think, well, which one's going to be the, you know, which one am I going to make more money with? Or you definitely want to, don't want to be thinking, well, which one's easier? You know, you want to do which one fits your skill set most. All right, which one fits your skill set and which one applies and which one can you use with the business idea that you decide to go with? Which one fits that best? And that's what we're going to uh, establish for you later on. The X factor that most marketers never learn is uh, to achieve true freedom, you have to eventually stop trading your time for money. All right. 
And that's why you can't get rich working nine to five. So you actually, I take that back. You could get rich trading your time for money as long as you were investing that money into something, an asset that is going to eventually let you stop trading your time for money. But just doing nine to five every day, eventually you, you, you want, you would, you'd be running into place because you consume things and those things cost money and then you have to trade more time to get more things and it's a never ending cycle. So I hope you, a lot of people, it's amazing, you never thought of it like that, and that, it makes it crystal clear for you. You want to learn how to build a business, so you have to build a system that runs itself and allows you to focus on the creation part, uh, and, and by putting together, and it allows you to focus on ideas and automate. So you do this from the beginning. If you do this from the beginning, and you do this in a way using the, the, uh, the right mentality, mentality that we just went over, then you can do it in a way that you're achieving your daily freedom number uh, and you're doing it on a passive, uh, on a, with passive income and you can scale it. So if you're sitting there thinking, well, I don't know how to make a website. I don't know how to write the, the, the words on a website, which we call copy, sales copy. You don't know how to do any of that stuff. I, you can't create an uh, ebook. You don't even know how to format a Word, Microsoft Word page. No problem. No problem whatsoever. Henry Ford, one of the greatest business minds of, uh, of, of, of the uh, century, didn't know of his century, didn't even know half the stuff about business that he got accomplished. He knew what he was passionate about, about the, the, the engines and the inner workings of that, but he bro built a team of people that did know what he did not know how to do, and that allowed him to do things that other people couldn't. All right, so we're going to show you how to leverage build your team. You're going to build a team of people that will let you do anything that you don't know how to do or have the time for. All right. So now there, there, there's no, there's, there will be no excuses is what I'm saying. There's no excuses. You want to build an e-commerce store? Well, you're going to have a team that's going to help you build an e-commerce store. And the best part is most of these people work either a lot cheaper than you may have thought or they will work with you in building the company and uh, be paid on, on a scale according to what you're earning. All right, so look at that, but just know that, so don't create any obstacles for yourself right now. The only thing you need to focus on is your daily freedom number. I want you to hardwire your freedom number in your brain, and not only that, I want you to remember what that number means, okay? Write that, hard, write that freedom number, and if you, if you skipped ahead for some reason, you didn't do the exercise, you got to go back and do it, because, I mean, it, it, this, is a, this is a fork in the road for you. This is a changing point in your life. Okay, having that number stare you in the face every day, knowing that's all that's standing between you and living the lifestyle that you wrote in that paper, it's just, it's a very powerful thing. Don't underestimate the power of that exercise. All right, so write that number on a sticky somewhere so that you see it every day during your working time, so that you keep in focus and you keep in your mind what you're working for. All right, you put that on your laptop, you put that on the board next to you in your office or so whatever dedicated space you have in the house, kitchen, I don't know, bedroom. Put that number somewhere. Next time you get an email in showing you the next flashbang whiz gizmo, you know, Google Super Slapper 8.0 or whatever, does that fit into the model of you hitting that number? Or is it a distraction? Simple. You don't even need it. Keep moving. And you'll stay on track. All right? So I hope you've gotten a lot from this uh, module. And, and and I hope it's, it's as much as a, a a game changer for you as it was for me when I finally figured out what my daily freedom number was. Now, with that mentality and with that in place, you're prepared, you're ready to start taking steps towards actually shelling out this whole system, flushing out and, build, and building this passive income machine that's going to give you the lifestyle that you've always dreamed of. So with that said, uh, great job getting through the first module. And uh, in the next... Next uh, section, the next module, we're going to get into the actual start with some of the, uh, the mechanics behind the curtain to show you how to get this thing put in place. All right? Thanks again.